there's the lies about the relationship. There's the, 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 the lack of accountability about her own personal mental illness. There is the, the fact that you not only did you lie, but you perpetuated lies on lies on lies. Mm. You up until this book came out, you there's. Uh, and so we're supposed to believe this now somehow. And they, and they what did they what was the thing they said? Horrible marriage. Was it horrible? Marriage Bad marriage forever? for life. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for life. For life. How many times have I said this over and over again? If you have a if you're in a toxic relationship and you are in a situation where this marriage is not and and things don't mesh, you staying together for the kids is 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 really not an option. And it's not an option because you teach if you're a guy and you have this toxic woman you're staying with, what you do is you ultimately teach your son. To 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 allow and tolerate toxic relationships within the confines of his own life, you teach him to be a pussy about it, and you teach your daughters to be toxic. So whatever the conflict is, if because if even if the man is abusive, when a man is abusive, you're teaching the boy how to be physically abusive or emotionally abusive, and you're teaching your girl to put up with that behavior. It is not an option. This is such a fragile period period of time when you're raising kids because you as a child, that your child looks at you as, as a man, you are the model for manhood. And his mother or her mother is the model for, 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 for what a woman is because that's all we have as the model. And to, t to disregard that, it's so selfish and so disrespectful. But it's the, amazing. that's what she's all about. Look, it's selfish to release this yeah. book. Let's yeah. be honest. After everything that's happened to, to the marriage, her legacy, Will Smith's legacy, yeah. the, the embarrassment of the, the kids who are now adults, but still they have to deal with that. And that's not enough for you. Now you need to release a memoir and do a candid uh, a sit down tell all interview. And that's why, uh, you know, she's doing these interviews for her so she can sell the memoir, which is worthy, uh, yeah. called Worthy. And now you're going to drag them into it and then blame your husband. Blame yeah. Will, because that's what this is. It's going, I don't know why Will would say that we're married together. I don't get where he would get that idea. Maybe because he brought that up on that show I made him go on and. Uh, or maybe she didn't make him go on it, but I, he brought up marriage on that show, and I didn't say, no, we're not married. I said, you know, bad marriage for life. 26 years and counting, he says, I don't stop that. Maybe because you're with them at the Oscars. Maybe because you never told anybody, and somehow it's Will Smith's fault. What she's doing here is throwing this on Will, and this is gaslighting. This yeah. is the definition yeah. of gaslighting, a term yeah. that usually women reserve for men. This is what it looks like when a woman is gaslighting. Yeah. Yeah. Period. That's what it is, and that's she's saying. Uh, I don't know why Will would. Uh, I don't know why Will would make that uh, suggestion. And then this. Um, but you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. For a lifetime. Five years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> So funny. So funny. With but somehow we're assholes. Yeah. Everybody else is asshole. We're assholes for, for a narrative that somehow that they're Something still married and it's a bad marriage. You told us this. Now, let's rewind. Let's let's look at this Will Smith thing. It's here's a guy who literally is living a lie. Well, let's, uh, so, so is she. She's living a lie with 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 zero accountability. But so is he. Oh, it's without a doubt. Without a doubt. Long, you have created, you have fabricated an image. You fabricated an image to, to the world that this is who you are. You, 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 go on uh, you go on Twitter or you go on TikTok and it's him talking about getting up and just make it a new day and you can accomplish whatever the, the, the stamina of his of the, the the course of his integrity and stuff and nothing about you you home at you a home straight bitch you are home being a straight bitch there's a video harry can you find this video where he he she's jada is filming him in his house um 
Jade is filming him in the house, and she's and he says, "Look, don't stop just filming me in the house." Like, and she's like, "I'll find it." Hold on, yeah. So it's a, it's an interesting kind of dynamic, and this is I've said this a hundred times. You like you got to put yourself first because if you don't, nobody else will. If you don't treat yourself with the respect and the understanding of the fact of what your value is, trust me, nobody else will treat you that way. If you're talking to a woman, if you're on a, on a base level, if you're talking to a woman and she is she's being disrespectful and you're allowing it, you are saying this is what I deserve. Your your complicitness is saying this is what I deserve. Yeah, here we go. Found it here. And this is the video. So, Will, you know Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me <laughs> oh my goodness. if you could film Esther, me. Esther, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, no, she, yeah, because she don't just... She mm. helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another. My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't Ooh. just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't Please just... watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? Ah, uh, you just have Jesus Christ. Why would you post that still? And by the way, also further proof that was not that was not eight years ago. What's the date on that? Hold on, I'll find it because it's on a YouTube thing. But that, I I remember that coming out. It was that's fairly recent. That that wasn't put it like this. That wasn't eight years ago. No, that wasn't eight years. ago. No, that was really? not eight years ago because she wasn't doing the table talk eight years ago. So no. we know for a fact it wasn't eight years ago. So yeah. again, not separate lives. Not separate yeah. lives. Not separate life. Now I'm doing us, Trump. They've helped us so much in the context of us of healing the hurt that we that we bestowed upon each other. So where's the where's the separate? Like you're lying in the privacy of your own home. You are creating lies and narratives in the privacy of your home where you don't even have to do that. You could just not even if you're gonna lie at the Oscars or you're gonna lie on the red carpet. Why would you why would you create something like this? Because you're promoting your red table talk because this is your bread and butter and you don't care. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.